Welcome back everyone to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we're going to be taking a closer look at the Air Jordan 4. This is a woman's exclusive in the metallic gold in sale colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. <music> to another unboxing and review for joining us for the first time welcome and be sure to hit that subscribe down below if you're not already subscribed to the channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these unboxing and styling segments huge shout out to my jordan brand family for sending these my way really excited to go through the overview on these jump into size and fit followed by how i style this really clean classy looking sneaker then we'll conclude with where you can find these and how much they're going for on the retail market let's jump right into it for those of you who who already saw my Air Jordan 1 metallic gold video. Be sure to check that out if you haven't. This is kind of like a sister sneaker as far as the color blocking and tones go. I was really excited when I saw images released of this just because I think this is such a fun, classy looking sneaker that I'm excited, honestly, to just dress up. Uh, definitely, I feel like I was looking at my closet not too long ago and thinking, man, I could really use some metallic gold options. And Jordan brand is really giving it to us, specifically us ladies, since again, this is a woman's exclusive. As far as the quality goes on this, this is a phenomenal package for. As you can see, most of the upper is completely covered in this beautiful ivory tone, more of an off-white finish uh, leather, and it's very nicely tumbled. Then we've got just the white caging unit, a nice leather tongue with the Jumpman logo here. And then we've got what, in my opinion, really makes this a luxurious looking sneaker, the metallic gold on the eyelets for the laces. So you've got it on the bottom here and as well as the upper on on the top set of laces as well. So pretty monochromatic sneaker. The only color that's really, I guess, catching my eye specifically is when the light really just hits that metallic gold and it makes this sneaker literally shine. All right, so now let's take a look at those details and then we'll jump into the side paneling. All right, as far as the side paneling goes, again, just very monochromatic. You'll see that we've got that tumbled clean leather. And then one of the things I did notice that is different is instead of having more of a kind of plastic material for the side paneling here, you're actually on the side of the wing getting a tumbled leather to really just blend nicely with those underlays of the off-white leather combination. Then we get to the back, we've got more of a cream tone and finish for this pull tab as well as that Jumpman logo on the back there and then we've got the same color and finish on the uh, lateral side just as we do on the medial the interior does have a little bit more gold for the Jumpman logo and just a simple white insole then we would get to the bottom of the sneaker we're just getting this nice transparent bubble here where you can kind of see some ivory finishes and then we do get an off-white cream tone for the midsole then on the bottom of the sneaker we are getting more of I guess sort of I guess the closest they could get to a gold finish and tone for the Jumpman logo and then just a nice ivory off 
white uh, to complete the sneaker itself. As far as the box goes, we are getting a really cool box. Nice Jumpman logo in the gold to really replicate and match the sneaker itself. And then we've got some nice gold splotches on the side of the box as well. Let's take a look at those last and final details. it goes I actually just have been sizing up pretty much in all my Jordans just because I feel like my feet are growing and I don't know why and I just want to be precautious uh, but these again are a women's exclusive so this only came in women's sizing I'm typically a size 9 in these I would have been fine with a size 9 but again with my thicker socks I've been wearing lately I feel like these just fit me a bit better all right so now let's jump into styling this is just such an easy to style sneaker because it's so simplistic in tone and finish as far as the first look goes I decided to wear a uh, Jordan zip up top that was in a blush pink tone and I layered that over just a simple blouse that was in ivory and then for the bottoms I decided to go with a pleated beige skirt then for the second look i went with a leopard print set so it was a button down long sleeve shirt with a matching pair of pants i definitely think you can really go all out with patterns on this and it's just going to be such a great complimentary sneaker like a lake i just want to take her everywhere you want to go and baby you can pick it on the atlas I ain't about to talk about that action Let's take a one-way trip, girl, what's happening? I just wanna see you smiling and laughing Yeah, yeah And the cares of the world really don't find me Long as my girl stay close around me Baby, hold me down, never leave me lonely And I know what you like We gon' catch a vibe then for the last and final look, I decided to wear my off-white hoodie just because those tones in the finish of that hoodie match the sneaker perfectly. Then for the bottoms, I decided to wear some simple beige bottoms to keep it kind of more monochromatic, simple, uh, easy to match color scheme. Baby girl, won't you come my way? Hop up on that plane, maybe we could spend a day I swear in the world where it's you and just me Where it's you and just me Oh, that's my baby, my baby, this right beside me You got me open when I see you so excited Gotta love with stand up all seasons Hot time, yeah, I will play in me All right, 
right, so as far as the retail goes, these retailed at $210. I don't honestly know if these are available. There may be a few of these available at some of the Jordan brand retailers. I know that they are sold out on the Seekers app, but congrats to anybody who got these. I've definitely been waiting for these to officially release, and I'm so excited to have these to add to my collection for 2024. Thanks again, Jordan brand, for sending these my way. Uh, that is it for this unboxing and review. If you joined us for the first time, thank you so much. Be sure to hit that subscribe down below if you're not already subscribed to the channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these unboxing and reviews. This is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We will catch you all in the next episode.